What's quicker over the standing quarter mile, a road going supercar or a Dakar rally racer? Well, I'm going to find out because I'm sat in Audi's RSQ e-tron Dakar rally car. Next to me is an Audi R8 V10 performance and we're going to have a drag race because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow and that's just the way we roll. In fact, if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. So go on, subscribe if you haven't done so already. You done it? Okay, let's get on with this then. Let me talk you through this car. Better still, let me get someone who actually knows about it to talk you through it. So I've got Emma Burquist with me here and you're the co-driver in the racing, aren't you? So you used to being the co-driver and now you've got an idiot next to you rather than a normal racing driver. So can you explain to me a bit about this vehicle? Because I'm a bit clueless. It's a bit of a special car. We have one electric motor in the front, yep. one electric motor in the rear, and then we also have a combustion engine on board for charging the battery because we could not pull a big charging cable in the desert. <laughs> and then we also have one engine to convert the mechanic energy to the battery. Okay, so the petrol engine, which is, I think it's a two litre, isn't it? Two litre turbo, which you have taken from an Audi DTM car. And then you take an electric motor, which is from a Formula E racer, mate it to it, and you're basically running that as a dynamo. So the engine turns the motor, almost like it's regen braking constantly to produce electricity, which then provides power to supplement the battery, because you've also got a big battery on board. It's what, 50, how many kilowatts? 52 kilowatts hours. That won't get you across the desert though, will it? <laughs> no, not really, not really. <laughs> okay, so you've got that, but the only things that actually drive the wheels are the two motors, one on the front axle, one on the rear axle. And what horsepower do you run at? 340 horsepower, so. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not gonna beat an R8 V10 with 340 horsepower, mate. What? But I have a special trick because uh, I can convert it to 680 horsepower. So then I think it will be enough for you. Uh, can you convert it now, please, before we go yeah, any further? Yeah, for sure. I can show you. You only turn the button here and you put two times the plus, and then we have 500 kilowatt and 680 horsepower. Can you just do that when you're racing and no one knows? Not really, because we are limited to uh, a certain amount of uh, kilowatts or horsepower when we are racing by the, the regulations. But you could cheat, and would anyone know? Ah, not really. <laughs> I would like, but I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we've got 680 horsepower. That's a bit fairer. So obviously there's no gears really for me to do. So it's dead simple, just accelerate and go, right? It's basically like a road car in terms of launch control. Left foot on the brake, full throttle, release the brake, go. Yeah, no problem, you will manage it. Okay, perfect. Same with that. So that's got a seven-speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control, drives all four wheels. Obviously, it's got power from its V10 engine, a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 with 620 horsepower. So it's actually down on power compared to this. And it's got 580 newton meters of torque. However, that R8 is a lot lighter than this. So the R8 weighs in at just under 1.6 tons. How heavy is this? 2.2 tons, so it's a little bit more. Obviously, there's a two of us on board and there's only one driver in that. It's going to be interesting interesting to see what happens. Let's say we to have a coming together of cars and they were both severely damaged and we had to buy new ones. I know that the R8 V10 costs £152,000. How much would it cost to replace this? I would say uh, two million. And you're letting me drive it? Uh, yes, I trust you. At the moment it feels good at least. It's because we've not got anywhere. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm up for it. If you're up for it, let's see what happens. Let's get on with the race. Now, before we do, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to find out how much it's really worth, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below to go to Car Wow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car and you'll be able to find out how much you can get for it. And if you want to, you can sell it to one of them, obviously the highest bidder, otherwise what's the point? Then they'll come to you, set the car away, put them in your account. It's easy and it's completely free. If you want to do that at a later date, just simply Google, help me Car Wow, and we will help you. And I think I'm gonna need you, Emil, to help me now, because there's lots of buttons I know I need to press, but I've got no idea of what to do. So if you can take control of things, I will deal with the steering wheel, the accelerator and the brake, but that's all I can commit to, okay? Yeah, then we will make it. Let's do it then. Buy, sell, car, wow. Okay, so now we're gonna drag race. And what I've got to do, because this doesn't have a launch control as such, not an automatic one, you have to control it yourself, so use your thing, left foot on the brake, and I have to apply a little bit of throttle and just get the right amount of torque, because if I put too much torque through the motors, it could burn them out when I hold it on the brake. Too little, and I'm not really going to go anywhere off the line. So I've got to get this right and just be quite gentle with the throttle. So we'll see how it goes. So, Emil, do you want to set things up? Yeah. So we're ready to go. 
I will do. So first uh, you do nothing and I will just switch on uh, the high voltage system. And then what I will do for you, you need uh, a bit of more uh, percentage on the battery. So I will start. Uh, Basically, Lewis Hamilton, but with freckles. Let's find out what happened to the Audi R8. Um, R8, what, what happened? I beat you, didn't I? I'm not saying anything. I think he's just so embarrassed. Hello, R8, can you hear me? Okay, so that's 1 0 to us, Emil. Right, I did a good launch. Fortunately, the R8 though, he spun up his wheels when he was launching, so that gave me the advantage and he could never pull it back. So I'm going to give him another go, best two out of three. Hopefully, I can repeat that launch that I just did because it was good. Come on, mate. Did we win or did you win? I won, definitely won. It was by a whisker, but I definitely won. All right, Anne, that is one each. Best two out of three. Let's do this. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Dakar car won. It did the standing quarter mile in 11.2 seconds, while the R8 took 11.3 seconds. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 15 miles an hour, which is 80 kilometers an hour. And the R8 is going to be comfort mode, like she's driving normally, automatic mode for the gearbox. Obviously, this is what it is. Yeah, I'm just going to get to 80 kilometers an hour. I just plan my drive for ML, you can count it in now. combustion engine is what happened to the R8. Oh well, I think that was something along the lines of Max, because you're such an awesome driver, it doesn't matter if you're in a supercar, you're just going to be quicker. Smart. Was it, is that what you heard? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that was also an awesome voice crack, didn't you think? It doesn't matter if you're in a supercar. Actually, let's give him a better chance, right, because that's a bit unfair. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again, though this time the R8 is going to be in manual mode for the gearbox, third gear, but in its sporty setting. It gets 80 kilometers an hour again and pull it in. Right now, they'll pull it in.
Third gear was a little bit long for me there. Second would have been better. Just not got the response of that electric motor. Would you like to do it in second gear then? If we could, if you're going to show mercy. I think he wants to do it in second gear. I can't really hear much. Hopefully yeah, you can hear it. put the mic to the, to the speaker, it's missing. Okay. <laughs> what was that you said? Yes, please. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> it looks a bit odd. Okay, let's go. Right, one last chance for the R8. And he's going to start in second gear for 50 miles an hour now. Let's see what happens. Three years. Absolutely bloody well did. <laughs> yeah, of course we hit 200. <laughs> right, now we have a great test. For 100 miles an hour, 160 kilometres an hour. When we strike for emergency stop. If you want to watch anything else, then give them a bad man an hour. If not, then stay with me. There's a good chance I might crash because this has no ABS. But let's see, here comes the line, here comes the line, where's the line? There's the line. I can't even see where the R8 is. Oh, I can just about. It's quite far behind us. Yeah. Um, that wasn't so good. Still, it's been an absolute blast driving this. Thank you very much, Emil. Really thank appreciate you. it. And thank you for like pressing all the buttons and giving me some coaching and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, then click over here on, on Emil there. Come on, just click on him. And if you <laughs> want to see how much money you can save on a new electric car, click on the box there. Right? Thanks for watching.